for pxc os installation we required one server we will do some configuration we required some iso files then we will connect our server to a switch after that you will connect all of your endpoints to that switch and then you will be able to install any os in the network in this video series i will show you how can you deploy any os in the network In this video, we will learn how to install Windows 11 25H2 over the network. So here I have mentioned 12 steps. We will follow these steps one by one and complete this installation. The first step is we will download server software and Windows 11 as file. Here you can see I have downloaded Windows 11 ISO file and server application. First step is completed. Step number 2 we will assign a static IP on our main system. We will use this command. I will assign 10.1.1.1. Step number 2 is completed. Step number 3 we will disable system firewall and antivirus firewall. So we will use this command. Step number 3 is completed. Step number 4 we will create a folder in D drive and set the name root. Step number 4 is completed. Step number 5 we will open server software and configure it. We will extract this file and we will run server64.exe. Click on top left icon, go to settings. TFTP, click on TFTP server, bind this IP, click on browse, we will select that root directory from D drive. Go to DHCP, start DHCP server, click on BINL, bind this server IP, here we will assign the pool IP, 10.1.1.2 and here I will set 10. I will use subnet mask 255.0.0.0 for router domain name and domain server I am using 10.1.1.1 click on ok and close this application we will start this application again so you can see it created couple of files in that root directory. We will close this application. Step number 5 is completed. Step number 6. We will share this directory wia underscore wds and we will share with this name. So here you can see this is the directory. We will right click on this one. Go to properties, sharing advanced sharing share this folder and here we will change the name click on ok and close we have completed this step step number 7 we will create a folder under wia underscore wds root wds here we will create the folder win11 We have completed this step. Step number 8. We will extract all the files from the Windows 11 ISO to that directory, Win11. So here I have the Windows 11 ISO file. I will extract all the files to that Win11 directory. Here. Click on OK.
we have completed this step step number 9 we will set the password on our main system we will use this command so i am using admin user so i am setting password for this account we will use this password when we will install the window step number 9 is completed step number 10 we will start server application and try to boot over client machine so i am using vmware to install the os i will create a machine and try to boot from network as you can see it is booting from network and we will get this boot window press enter here so now setup files are loading we will follow the steps to install the window here we will put our username and password and click on connect so now these are the basic steps we will follow these steps and install the os So as you can see we have successfully installed Windows 11 25 H2 version. So we will check the version. And you can see we installed 25 H2. So this is the latest build from Microsoft side. and we have successfully installed this os we have completed step number 10 and 11 as well so if you like the video please subscribe the channel and share the video i will create multiple videos on this topic and i will try to cover 
all kind of OS, Linux OS, Ubuntu, Windows, ASXi. I will try to create multiple videos on this topic. Thanks for watching.